Hey guys, welcome back to RMA Garage. In this video, we are gonna be working on my trailer. Now, there's nothing wrong with my trailer, but since we've used it for a while, we've noticed one little pet peeve that we've had with this thing, and that is with the ramp. When I go to step on this ramp, I gotta be careful. I gotta make sure that I step on one of the slats. Uh, and these spaces between the slats, I can get my foot through. So what I was planning on doing is adding some diamond plate. I was gonna put the plate down and I got some bolts. We're gonna bolt it down with some stainless steel. I wanted to see how this was gonna work. Uh, how heavy is it gonna make the ramp? I mean, that plate there is probably just as heavy as the ramp, so it's gonna double the weight. Just gonna have to see how good or bad it is, but we're gonna give it a shot. So let's get to it. The diamond plate is on and it fits very well actually. It's uh, pretty much the exact size that I figured. I did hold it back off of the edge here a half inch on either side to make up for these welds because these welds kind of stick up a little bit and there was no way for this plate to fit flush up against this channel because of the welds. This is not sitting down 100% because it is more or less bridging over this weld. So I'm debating on whether or not to maybe cut this out right here. And so that the plate can fit completely flush. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is mark this. This is gonna be the exact distance between. All right, so those are marked. A little bit of change of plan, instead of doing a U shape, which I was thinking before, is we're just gonna cut this down and then across, cause then we can use our Sawzall with a metal blade. Uh, that should get us around the weld and it allow us to cut this out with the tools that we own. Cut it a little strong, but that's okay. We got plenty of space. Uh, we still have good bearing and uh, looks like it's gonna work. So the next step would be to put the fasteners in. Well, we ran into our first problem. The way this trailer locks into place is that this would push down and then it would slide right over top. Well, because we have another eighth inch thick plus the diamonds, this is now not going down all the way. So we took the diamond plate off just to see how this mechanism works. And we're gonna close it. And it does push it down probably about an eighth to a quarter of an inch. So it, it kind of bows the, um, pushes, it pushes it down quite a bit. All right, we've come up with a solution. So what we're gonna do is we're going to cut the diamond plate out where it would rest on the end of the uh, ramp. So we marked, we marked the end of the ramp right there. You see the, the scratch mark where that thing comes down. So that is going to correspond with cutting this out. And we just have to make two cuts. Hopefully it'll snap off. If not, we'll have to do a little bit more creative cutting.
All right, we got plenty of space on either side just in case it gets a little crooked. And that is the success story. All right, so that will work. We just had to notch that out. Okay, that's it for tonight. It's about nine o'clock. Uh, tomorrow we'll end up putting the fasteners in and uh, getting this all finished. back day two so we got the plate on uh, it's centered we have the uh, hole cut out for where the latch happens we've got it all figured out so now the boring part measuring to see where the fasteners go and getting it drilled getting it fastened down all right so I didn't go with stainless I ended up just going with zinc coated uh, it was expensive, I'll be honest with you. And I really wanted to have stainless so it wouldn't rust, but I don't think these are gonna rust right off the bat. So yeah, not something I normally do, but I didn't want it to be really expensive. So we're just gonna put the fasteners in and get this thing buttoned up. One thing that I'm wondering if I overlooked, um, and that is the sound factor going down the road. Is this going to basically be a huge tambourine going down the road? I am not sure. I may need to add some fasteners to uh, maybe in every slat just to keep it from bouncing. Um, but I don't know. We're going to find out. So we're gonna slide it in now and see how it fits. So I went to take the ramp off and I couldn't get this lever down. Uh, it's up now and what I have found out is that this bolt here and this bolt here drags along the diamond plate. You can see where it scratched a little bit. Uh, it basically was jammed. I had to use a hammer to uh, pop it off. So what I have to do now is I gotta somehow make this gap probably a half an inch wider on either side to miss the bolts. So we're not quite done yet. All right, guys, that was a little bit of a struggle and my line is a little off right there, but don't look at it, it's fine. So I think this is gonna work now. Uh, we definitely have it wider. I got it half inch wider on each side. So we're gonna push this thing in. All right, let's move this down. Perfect, we got space on that side, space on that side. And it pulls up just fine. All right guys, we got the ramp done and uh, we're gonna see how it works. See if the noise from the aluminum bouncing off of the uh, ramp is going to make a huge noise going down the road. So I may end up testing it before we actually make a long trip. That would be horrible to hear that sound for two hours. So uh, anyway, um, one other thing, I broke a bolt. Apparently I wrenched on it too hard and it just disintegrated, <laughs> twisted it right off. So I have to replace one of my bolts in the corner. I tried to find one out of my box, but I couldn't find one. So anyway, uh, 
just thought I'd show you what I did to improve my ramp. Uh, if you guys like this video, please click the like and subscribe, and don't forget to click the bell so you won't miss our next episode. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you soon.